What is going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Smash Bros. We will be taking on night four in this video, which we will enter the passcode for this video, which the passcode for night four is Mario. Alright, so without further ado, we will take on night four and see what it has to offer for us. Alright, off we go. Alright, are we getting the phone call? Alright, I guess we are. Perfect. Hey, man. It's your fourth night. You're doing really, really, really good job. Thank you. Well, anyway, this is going to be my last call because I don't have pretty much to say because this is all that I had to say. <clears throat> So, if you don't hear me on night 5, because, uh, this is my last call that I am making for you. Well, yeah, so, I don't really have to talk for you on, yeah, for you this message. So, I will maybe, uh, not talk to you on the fifth night. So, if you don't hear me on the next night, um, yeah, this is my last call for you. Okay, so, yeah. I hope that you survive this night. I hope so too. Uh, yeah. Good night and good luck. <laughs> Another good night and good luck reference. This is one of the few fan games where I get a good night and good luck reference. Like to the movie. Alright, so, um. This is one of the few FNAF fan games where the phone guy doesn't die, instead he leaves. Because in most FNAF fan games, the phone guy dies. Same with Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And then five. And then, in f yeah, sorry, I'm sorry to stop talking. I had to deal with Fox. Because, God, Fox is going to be a pain this night. Same with Mario. Luigi and Kirby aren't, aren't a pain to deal with. It's just Mario and Fox are. Because Mario is sneaky, and Fox will just leave the cove whenever he feels like it. Here we go! Okay, I saw Mario move, and I saw Luigi arrive. Alright. Oh, great. Now I just saw Fox come out of the cove and Mario move. Alright. Okay, why is Mario upside down in Fox's Cove? That's weird. Like, I don't know if I don't know if it's supposed to be like that for the game, but um, or Night Three, because I don't know. I don't think Mario was upside down in the Cove in Night <laughs> Three. He might he might have, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check my Night Three video and see if Mario was ever upside down. And once again, I had to stop talking because Fox just showed up. Just showed up. Okay, Kirby is showing up. I'm checking for Mario. Okay, Mario's on camp four, and then Kirby's about to come to the kitchen. Okay. So yeah, after this video, I will check my night three video to see if Mario was ever upside down at the cove. And I, I will let you know in the description below in night four if I see it. And if I go and if I don't, well I'll let you know the same way. Okay. Okay, I see Kirby and Fox too, obviously. And I just saw Fox leave. Like, pop out of his cove, man. Okay, Mar Mario's up on camp three. Not camp, I mean camp six. Mario's on six. Alright, and I see Luigi on camp seven. Okay, so I gotta prepare for all three of you. <laughs> ha! Got you in time.
Okay, I can open the door again. I gotta close it though again because Luigi's gonna be coming, so I have to close it again. And Fox just left. Okay, where's Mario? Okay, Mario's on cam two. And then Fox will go back to his cove. Okay, Kirby's here. Gotta shut the window. Okay, Kirby left, so I can open it again. And I've checked for Luigi, because Luigi's going to be coming next. And Mario's still on cam, too. And I'm getting prepared for Luigi. Here we go! Who's about to do his... Who's... And Luigi's about to do his final smash on me, but he won't be able to because I just closed the door. Like, he won't do a smash victory pose on me. Alright, Luigi left, and we know that they leave because you hear footsteps. And then Mario's getting cold. She's on cam 5. Oh, I thought I heard Fox. I thought I was in trouble. Because if I didn't close the door, I'd be in trouble. Now he's leaving. Okay, Mario's on cam 8. Gotta shut the window. Yeah, because Mario doesn't appear... Mario doesn't, like, disappear and he's at your window. Like the others. Like, he just shows up right away. Same with Fox. Like, we know Mar we know Luigi and Kirby are there when they leave the camera. Mario, on the other hand, is clever, so... Same with Fox. So they'll just show up at the, the win. So they'll just show up. Well, I got the window closed. In Five Nights at Wario's, um, Mario comes out of the computer and you have to put the camera up. And he's basically a Golden Freddy because you have to put the camera up when he comes out of the computer. And then Wario, and then Luigi will show up at the window, same with Peach. And then Wario, Wario and Waluigi will show up at the door. Okay, Mario left. Can open the window again. Close the door. Super Mario's. Okay, he's on cam two. I feel like Luigi's there because I don't see him. Oh wait, Luigi's on cam 6. Okay, I got worried because I lost track of Luigi. Okay, I'm relieved Luigi's there because I lost track of him, so I got worried. Here we go! And Mario's on cam 3. God. And Fox is poking out as usual. <laughs> Kirby's on, Kirby's on cam made about to go in the kitchen. And Mario's upside down once again. God, this def, this is definitely baffling me. Like, I don't get why Mario's upside down. Like, that's just crazy. Alright, got the door closed. Mario stole at the coast. All right, and we beat night night four. All right, we beat it. All right, let's see what the passcode is. This night was definitely a little overwhelming, but we got through it. And I will check to see down below what the passcode is for night five. Okay, so the passcode for night five is Fox, which we will take on night five in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.